Today we continue our focus on the ancient Christian tradition of Advent. In Isaiah 9, 6, we read a prophecy about the coming Messiah Christ. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so we'll meditate on each of these names as we count up to Christmas. Today, we light the candle of love and focus on Christ being our Everlasting Father. What a comforting thought to have an Everlasting Father. However, I'll Out of all these four names that Christ would be called, this one is perhaps a little confusing. Why would Jesus, the Son of God, be called our everlasting Father? Is Isaiah telling us that God the Son is the same person as God the Father? No, that's not what he's saying. He doesn't have the Trinity in mind. Rather, he has the divine nature of the Messiah in mind. You see, the Messiah would have the same divine nature as the Father. He would be God in the flesh. That's why Jesus, the Son of God, would later explain in John 10, I and the Father are one. No one understands that the Father is in me and I and the Father. And then he said this, whoever seen me has seen the Father. So beloved, if you want to know what God is like, look at Jesus. <laughs> Even in that manger, he's the perfect image of God, the exact representation of his being. He alone makes the Father fully known. Indeed, no one can come to the Father except through Him. And when you come through Christ, you're not just given an everlasting Father. You're also given everlasting love. What a gift this Christmas and forever. Merry Christmas. Change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, Mountie Cabinetry, and Parker Marketing Insurance Advisors.